Hey, I hope you're doing great today. My name is Jay and in this video, you can learn how to create a VS Code theme. It's very easy, simple, it's not like super complicated and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Here I am, this is my VS Code, totally empty. I just created a folder called VS Code Extensions. It's empty right now. So the first thing I want you to do is go to this URL, that way you have it there open because it's gonna help us a lot. It's a theme color reference. So there's a lot of information here for us to like change later. So go ahead, go to that URL, create an empty folder that you will generate your theme and let's get started here. So open a new terminal. You can go to terminal up here or use the short code. I'm gonna click there. And here we need to install a couple things. So we're gonna use NPM. So you need Node in your computer. If you don't have it, NPM won't work, okay? By the way, links are in the description, the theme um, reference link in the description of the video. Node is gonna be there. A bunch of links, that way you can go there and um, open them. So MP NPM install. We're gonna do dash G for global, Y O for yo man, and then generator dash code. Okay, this will install the actual you know extension uh, VS Code extension generator. That way it, it, we can create stuff. All right, I already did, so I'm I'm not gonna do it. All you have to do there after that is just press enter. It will install this for you, and now you can use yo and then code all right let's press enter all right here we go let me open this a little bit more that way we can see all right welcome to the visual studio code extension generator perfect so you can see down here we have options you can uh, move up and down with your keyboard so let's go to the new color theme. That's what we want. I'm gonna press enter. You can import everything for, for from a theme, but I'm gonna start from fresh, just start from nothing. The name of your extension, I'm gonna call this IE websites, enter. The ent identifier, enter. Uh, what is, I can do this later. So if you don't want to do this now, you can press enter, but um, I will show you later where it is. That way you can edit. Um, I'm going to do I eat websites. The base is going to be dark. Yes. I don't have a git yet. All right. So now as you can see here, um, we have a new folder. Mine is I eat websites. If I open this, you will see all these files. If you open this package, Jason, let me put this here. Here is all the details, you know, like the description, the name, the display name, all this, um, which you can change, okay? If you open this themes folder and open this file, it's a JSON file, you will see here a bunch of things with colors. And this is like our uh, very important file that we're gonna change now to make a new theme. So what I'm gonna do is going ahead, open this folder in a new VS Code window. So I'm just gonna drag it and put it here, open in VS Code. Here we go. I can close the old folder. Let me just close that. Let's put it here. All right, I'm gonna open the same file again, this JSON file. And now what you can do to actually kind of preview your theme, you can go to run and you can click start debugging or F5. So I'm gonna click there. And you can see a new VS code opened, like a new window. This is actually my theme, how it looks right now. So let me just put it here. Let me do some space. Just wanna 
see it. All right. Let me close this. That way we have. All right. So we have my JSON file with all the colors. I have my theme. It's a preview of my theme right here. So first thing I want to do, I'm a, uh, I'm a designer and the first thing I want to do is changing the colors of these icons and maybe the background, right? So you're going to be asking yourself, where is this? That's where you, you, when you need to go to this page right here and take a look at the things. So for example, if I scroll down, there's an activity bar and this is the actual activity bar. This one right here with the icons. So here's the background. Here's the foreground. There's a description, by the way, activity bar, foreground color, for example, use for the icons. Perfect. This is what I want. So let's change the background and the foreground. Okay. So I'm just going to copy this, go right here in the colors. I'm going to do this activity background. Let's do like, uh, let's do black for now. I'm going to change it. I don't want to be like black, black. So let's just do something like this. And then the icons are going to be orange. Of course, where is it? It's right here. So same thing. But these ones are going to be orange. So let's go ahead and um, do this. Change them to orange. Um, kind of something like this is what I like. All right. It's like a very, very neon orange. And that's it for now. So let's open back again the theme. And let's save this. Save the file, the JSON file. And here we go. What have? Oh, okay. I was not reading what I was doing. So the background is orange now. It's not what I want. So let's just cut this, put it here. And then the background is going to be dark. There you go. Safe. Now we're talking. Now look at this beautiful. Look at this. Actually, it can be a little bit darker. Yeah. Maybe this. Yeah, that's perfect. So this is my style and I'm creating my own theme and this is how it looks. It's like dark orange neon colors. Um, and this is how you do it. And now we can change the highlights of the code too, which I want to, um, for example, let's change this HTML tag color, right? But same thing, how, how can I know where to find this? Now, if you open the, um, page, this is not going to be here. Okay. To change the syntax of the code. What you can do is press command shift P and you will see this search bar search for inspect editor token. This one right here. If you don't have it, if you don't see this, make sure you update the VS code. Okay. Click here. And now when you click on your code, you will see a lot of information. Let me just open this a little bit more that way we can see it. So we'll see here uh, foreground is called this one is called uh, punctuation the foreground this is a color. If we click on this tag, which I want to change, it says it says um, entity name dot tag. OK, so I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to search here in my JSON file. So let's go there. Let's search for it. And here we go. Um, entity dot name dot tag. And this is kind of a salmon orange, something like that. So I'm just going to change it to my orange. Jesus, can you let me change it? Yeah, there you go.
All right. Let's save it. And here we go. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but it's now like my orange, right? Let's do the same thing with this bracket. Let's go ahead again, um, Command Shift P, Inspect Editor uh, Tokens. By the way, if you want to close the inspector, just press Escape and close, okay? But you have to go again. Inspect the tokens. All right, so brackets. Let me expand this a little bit, that way we can read it. It says uh, punctuation. So let's just, it seems like it's just that. Let's search for it. Same thing again. Um, it seems like there's a lot of things with this keyword. So let's just go up. Okay, I think this is the one because it's all alone here. All right, and you can see the color. Let's just change it again to like an orange. All right, that's fine. Let's save it. Let's close this. Here you go. So now you can see brackets are orange, but as you can see, we have a huge um, list of different things that now are orange. So if you take a look at uh, comas and all these asterisks and semicolon, everything is orange now. So maybe I need to modify this because I don't want to everything be orange. But this is how it works. Um, you can keep uh, adding and, and kind of modifying this file until you have an amazing theme that is yours. Now, after you're done 100% happy with your theme, you have to make an account as a, an extension publisher. That way you can publish your theme to the public, to the world. So I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video if you wanna do this and then you want to share your theme with the world like I'm, I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm in the process of creating my own theme. And maybe if you're watching this video and it's like two months old, just go to the themes. Let me see if we can find it here in the extensions or the themes. Go and search for I eat websites. Just like you do with, um, for example, I have this GitHub theme, which I like. Jeez. There you go. So search for it. I eat websites. You will find it here. Just like if you publish yours, you will find it here and you can install it. And that is it. Hope you learned something new. Good luck with your project. Let me know if you have questions, comment below, okay? Thank you. Subscribe if you wanna keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.